but started doing the training. And when she first came to my clinic and she was all depressed, and I thought, oh, these people hate what I do. <laughs> and she didn't, though. She came up and said, afterwards, said, can I talk to you? And I thought, going to the principal's office. <laughs> and she didn't. She said, this is the missing piece. I was like, well, yeah, I think so, too. But anyway, so she was having her clients do stuff. And, and the, the guy, the body worker guy, would make fun of her and say, you know, Oh, so you're feeding your pony, or you're feeding your pony, or you're feeding your pony, and you just feed her and tease her. And she was rather, you know, guarded against it, but she knew it was the right thing to do. But she would tell her clients, like, don't take pictures of me with the sidewalk. <laughs> but anyway, whatever. So we go along. Then he comes and sees a demo, uh, because it was like a Purina sponsored a demo, and I did a demo. And the next day, every, after that, the next day after that, I had a bunch of lessons lined up, private lessons going from place to place. And he kept showing up at all of his clients' lessons. Turns out he had canceled his meetings. He canceled his clients and was infiltrating and coming to each of their lessons. So she goes back to him and said, so, feeding your pony, are you? And he said, you know what? I feel like I'm a 13-year-old boy again with my pony. He said, I'm getting serious stuff done. We're getting real training done, but we're having a great time. And to me, that gave me chills because that it still does to this day because that's what it's about. We can do serious stuff. It doesn't mean you have to throw all your hopes and dreams out the window, but it means you can do it in a way that you're both having a great time and you both think it's a lot of fun. You know, and I think that is that to me embodies where I want us all to go. There are certain horses I think are happier being turned out without much human interaction, but I know my horses that I've been with, that I've had from John and Beezy's, they're bored to tears being in a paddock. They want to do stuff. They're like, I want to do it. I love ridden work. So I know that we can, we have to adjust for each of the horses, but we can help them where they think that, you know, a life of human and going to shows is the funnest thing ever. You know, so it's, it's to me, it's really important that we look at them as sentient beings. And I think not so long ago, science didn't even admit that animals were sentient beings because it wasn't proven. And so now science has caught up to that. Do you know when we write records at SeaWorld, we had to write, he seemed happy. He seemed this. We couldn't say he was because science couldn't prove that. But we could say what we saw, what we felt, and what you, you knew, you know what I mean? But it was, so it's, we've come a long way. But I think as we recognize and see them as sentient beings, they aren't here to be, to serve us. I feel like we're here to serve them. Mm -hmm. That's pretty powerful. <laughs>